Hi everyone, in this lecture you, you will create a Postgres database. Now, first I'm going to go over what it is that you are going to do. You're going to create a library database to store authors and their books. Now the database will contain three tables, authors, books, and author books. Authors table will have ID, first name, last name. The books table will have ID, title, and number of pages. And the author books will have the, the uh, ID, author ID, and book ID. The reason that we have separated the author books uh, table is just to uh, make sure that if, any, if there is any author that has more than one book, which there are, then we do not want to mix them up. We want to just provide another table for that. And um, uh, so for books with multiple authors, multiple entries would be added to the author books. But as far as the authors are concerned, we are just going to insert one author in that column, in that table. So once the database is created uh, with the necessary tables, you will add some functionality. Now, what is the functionality? Uh, the books table has to be updated with a new book. Of course, every book will be within the books table. Now, you, need, you are going to check if the author is a new author, then the author's table will be updated to include the new author. If the author is not a new author, then the author will not be added again to the author's table. Why? Because we don't want to have duplicate entries for the same first name. Now, also, you will add a new pairing to the author's table, author books table. All these operations must, must be done within a transaction, so the database will never end up in a half-done state. For this, you can use a store procedure or transactions. Uh, you can use uh, uh, PsychOp G2 module, SQL uh, Alchemy ORM, or SQL Alchemy Core. My solution will focus on SQL Alchemy ORM. So uh, go ahead, pause the video, read these uh, texts carefully, and then after three seconds, you're going to see my solution. All right, so how was it? I'm sure you did great. So first off, we are going to go inside the shell. And in here, I'm going to say create database, database, don't forget the A. And I'm going to call it library, library. This is our database. So when you hit enter, the database is created. If we do backslash L, we, we can see our databases. So here is the owner of this database, library, M -M underscore, Hilali, we are going to connect to this database, so library, so you can work with it. You're now connected. Now we are going to move on to Python. You need to install SQL Alchemy and all of them as well. We have already installed them, so I'm not going to uh, focus on them. I'm going to say from SQL Alchemy, import, import column, integer, text, oh, oops, string, not text, string and foreign key then from uh from sql alchemy sql alchemy import uh create engine from sql alchemy uh, dot orm dot orm what do we want to import we want to import the session maker so import session maker where is it there it is also the relationship because we have inserted the foreign key we are going to uh, relate these tables to one another uh, when 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 you created this database and when you t looked at it in the sql shell i'm sure you were amazed at what you had done with this database and when i show it to you here you will be amazed as well again that the, the beauty of these databases, the beauty of these foreign keys, uh, primary keys, this is going to be like the whole, like um, everything that we have talked about, this is going to be like the culmination of all of your efforts. So SQL Alchemy dot ext dot uh, declarative uh, import uh, declarative base, declarative base. So far we are done. So let's create our engine and it is create engine. I'm going to pass in post SQL and let's uh, say M underscore Halali. Make sure you uh, 
write your own user one two three four five six seven eight which is the password at localhost and then what is the port 5432 the li the uh, database is library so so far we are done we are going to grab the base and we are going to grab the declarative base and just call it there now I'm going to create three uh, tables, uh, sorry, three classes. The first one is going to be the author class. Then we are going to have the other ones. So this is going to be author. Let's pass in base. And I'm going to create the table name. So table name, table name is going to be equal to authors. So this table name is equal to authors. Uh, so we have three columns. The first one, remember, is author ID, which is a column type integer. And the primary key for this one is going to be true because this is the primary key. For first name, first underscore name, uh, we are going to have column. Just use column. And then the type of it is going to be string. And the length, I'm just going to set it to 255. And the same thing goes for last name. So I'm just going to say last name. Now, where is the string representation of it? So we are going to say string representation of that. Let's pass in self. We are going to say return. And I'm going to say author, author. Let's say author ID, so author underscore ID, which is going to be equal to, uh, so this is going to be the first item, zero item with the index of zero. Then we have the first name, so I'm going to say first name, which is going to be equal to this one, okay, not double, single quotes. There we go. This is the item one, and eventually we have last underscore name, which is going to be item with the index of two, zero, one, two, and let's pass in, oops, let's pass in quotes. And uh, let's just close this one. All right, so before that, I'm gonna close this parentheses as well, parentheses, and we're gonna say dot format, uh, self dot author ID self dot uh, dot first name here is the first name and self dot last name let's save everything everything is reordered that is cool now we're going to do the same thing for the rest of the columns so I'm just going to copy it two times so the second class is going to be the second class is going to be book so book the table is going to be called books so i'm just going to say books the columns are going to be the um, book id and then we have the title just let's, i'm just going to first change the names and then we have number of pages number uh, of oops of pages now the book id is integer primary key is going to be true the title is going to be the same thing, but the number of i number of pages it is just going to be an integer. So I'm just going to pass an integer in here. Number of pages. The string representation is going to be this is going to be book. Then we are going to have our book ID. So I'm just going to pass in the book ID. Then we have the title. Uh, oops, just copy that provided here and then we have number of pages just copy that and provide it right here so this is going to be self dot book ID uh, self dot title and self dot number of pages there we go so this one is done as well let's move on to the author books now this is going to have two relationships we're going to add those as one well, uh, as well so I'm gonna say book author book author base is going to be the same and the table name is going to be book authors as well so here we are going we are going to have book author id then author id 
So I'm just going to say author author underscore id and then this is going to be a foreign key relationship and book id is going to be another beautiful foreign key relationship so the book author id is going to be integer the primary key is going to be true for it that this these are going to be columns uh with not strings so let me select both of them both of them are going to be integer and then foreign key for these uh, are going to be they're going to be a little bit different so for this foreign key is going to reference the authors table the uh, the authors um, table the author ID column I'm sure you're not being uh, confused this is author ID so it references the authors table the authors ID this is book ID so it should reference the books table and from there the book ID column so the first one is table the second one is column and then let's establish the relationship as well so author is going to be relationship to author class and let me just grab that book and this is going to be this is go, going to go back to the book class just grab this book and capitalize the b so so far so cool right now as far as the string representation is going to be concerned is that we have book author id i'm just going to grab that and i'm going to pass it right here we did uh, do this book so this one is going to be book author the same thing let's just copy that put it here after that we are going to do author first name then we are going to have author last name and then we are going to have uh, book title so this is going to be author first name uh, with the item one then we have author last name author last name and right after that we are going to have book underscore title which is equal to three and let's just provide in those just copy Cut that put it there so these are going to be different how they're going to be self dot book author ID so we have book author ID then we are going to have self dot uh, I don't think the other ones are available for us I'm just going to copy them from here self dot author first name then it is going to be self dot author last name so I'm just going to change this to LAS and eventually we're going to have a self dot uh, book dot title hmm. now I've made a mistake here because whenever we're referencing them these are not actually created in here these are created using the relationship so we don't have author first name that is just a string representation of it where does it come from it comes from the author table author dot first name now you can see it is popping up so i'm just gonna uh <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna delete the delete them so the first one is we know that it is self dot book author underscore id so the second one is going to be self dot author dot author's table right where is the first name so i'm just gonna say first underscore name there we go the other one is going to be self dot um, author uh, dot last underscore name and eventually we are going to have book title as well so book dot title there we go so this is going to be the string representation hopefully everything is working correctly now let's grab the base dot metadata metadata or metadata and then we are going to say create all we are going to pass an engine as a reference now uh, after this I'm going to create our session it's been 14 minutes Wow and there is a lot more stuff coming uh, so I'm going to create our session it's it's okay I guess because this is a little bit long so I'm going to say session and I'm going to grab our session and I'm going to set it equal to session maker let's bind it to engine so I'm going to say engine there we go and we basically want to return from here the session 
we are going to call that session return a return that and then we are going to create another function that is add book def dot add book which is going to be responsible for adding books so for to be able to add any book we need to have the title the number of pages so number of pages as well as the first name of the author first name and last underscore name of the author now we are not going to create the book ID ID and the author ID because they will be generated by the database management system so a little bit easier for us let's grab the book class and we are going to set the title to the title we are going to set the number of pages to number of pages and that's it for now we are going to grab our session we're going to say session is going to let's call that create not create engine but create session function so this is going to give us the session we're going to use a try catch block just to try just to catch any errors so I'm going to say try what do we have here so I'm going to say if the author is existing so the author is going to be existing author we are going to grab our session and we're going to query it let's pass in the author uh, class and let's filter it so this is for the existing author how do we know an author is existing if the author's first name is equal to the first name that the user has inserted and if the author's last name is equal to the last name that the user uh, has inserted for that author so we are going to say author dot first name that first name is equal to first name is equal to where is this first name coming from this is the parameter that we have passed in there so it's coming from there so if I say author uh, dot last name uh, a u t h o r dot last name it is the last name that the user has inserted so if these two are equal it means that it is an existing author perfect I'm going to come down here and then we are going to grab this session and we are going to add we are going to add the book so I'm just going to say book now in here we are going to say if existing author it is not none it is not none it means that it is not an existing author then we need to add it to the book author as well so I'm going to say if existing author is not none so we just provide a none and we are going to say session session dot flush now the flush is going to send a series of operations to the database and it is going to generate the auto increment book and author IDs for us now no matter what we are going to create the pairing so I'm going to say pairing pairing uh, pairing what is actually this pairing so we have the book author class and we are going to say the author ID author underscore ID is going to be equal to the existing now uh, let me just reiterate this so it says if existing author is not none it means that we do have some existing author because it is not none like it's the opposite of none it is not empty there is something there so the author ID is going to be equal to the existing author dot author ID so the ID for that existing author that we had because it is not new it is existing so when it is existing it does have an existing ID we are grabbing that and we are setting it to the author ID and the book ID is going to be is going to come from book ID is going to come from book book uh, dot book ID book ID so a u t h o r I hope I've uh, uh, written them typed them correctly all right and else we are going to say else it means that it is a new author so what are we going to do in that case let us provide some space in here so else it means it is a new author we are going to grab the author class and we are going to say first name first name is going to be equal to first name and last name is going to be equal to last name 
So we are passing the first name and last name to the author class. Then we are going to grab our session and we are going to say dot add. Where do we want to add it? Let's add it to the author table. And then we are going to say session dot flush. No matter what, we are going to create the pairing. So uh, we are going to say pairing is going to be equal to book author. So it is going to be book author and we are basically going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to say book author. Let's copy that part, put it here. So the except for one thing. Now the existing author is not going to have is not going to play any role here. So it's just going to be author that author ID book that book ID because it is not an existing author. Now going out of this else statement, let's add this uh, pairing as well to the to the database. So I'm just going to say pairing. We have added that. Let's commit the changes to the database as well. Now this is everything within the try block. I'm going to save this so everything is rearranged. Now we are working within the accept block. So if I come down here, if I go two stages back, you can see we are inside the accept. So I'm going to say accept, accept, accept. Uh, whatever the error is, we, we are going to roll back on this session. So we don't want to add anything. So I'm just going to say session dot roll back and we are going to raise this exception. Then we are going to say finally. Now we know that the finally clause is going to happen either way. If we have an error or if we don't have an error, we either way, we want to grab our session and we want to close it. So either way, we just want to close it. Now for the final piece of the puzzle, we are going to say if name is equal to main, just making sure that we are in the current module. Uh, we are going to say print. Now the rest of these stuff, they are really, really simple. So I could just save you some time and just copy paste them here. Now it is going to ask the user to input in a book and then a new line. Title of the book is going to be input. What is the title of the book? It's going to ask the user, what are the number of pages? The input is going to be converted to an integer. All right. And uh, when the input is converted to an integer, you're going to store it in the number of pages because it is an integer. The first name is going to ask the user, what is the first name of the author? And the last name, what is the last name of the author? And then it is, uh, it is going to say inputting book data. Now, uh, finally, we, are, we just have to call that add book data title and you know why we have done that because the reason that we created this ad book was to separate the program logic from the database logic so the program functionality from the database functionality so in here we are going to say number of pages and then i'm going to pass in first name which is going to come now these values they're going to come from these variables that we have here so you do not need to worry about it and then we have last name now I'm going to run this file. I'm going to say clear. Now hopefully, fingers, fingers crossed, there are no errors. So solution, solution.py. Let's just enter. Perfect. So it says, what is the title of the book? The title of the book, I'm not going to like type everything. I've already selected my favorite books. So I'm just going to pass them here. Okay, so the first favorite is the Kite Runner. It is 371 pages. Uh, the author is going to be uh, is Khalid. The author is Khalid. Khalid, as most of you are used to hearing it. And Hosseini is the last name. The last name of the author. Now, it is it says in putting uh, book data and then there is nothing. So why isn't there anything? So, hmm... It is asking for those. It should have inputted some data in here. So add book. What is wrong in here? Add book. If name is equal to main, title, number of pages, first name, last name. So add book. We call that number of pages, first name, last name. Let me just take a look at this. So session.close. 
uh, we have said that we are going to create the book title number of pages is equal to number of pages create session take a look at this session as well where is the string representation of it so have we done any mistakes I'm gonna go from the top and I'm gonna come down here so we have Postgres and Mahalali, everything here library so if I come in here and if I say um, uh, select select from library uh library select this uh relation library does not exist what is the name of the database it is library so how can it not exist oh library is the name of the uh, we need to select the table <laughs> uh, i'm gonna say use library so let's use that use library cannot use library so we are within the library so we, I can I should not say even use library we are within it and whenever we do select statement you should not pass in the name of the database but the name of the table so we have books so you can see that we have actually inserted that the book ID is one kite runner 371 uh, let's say let's grab authors authors let's hit enter uh, Khalid Husseini, perfect and eventually we are going to say book authors book authors so uh, the book author ID is one author ID is one and uh, the book ID is one as well so we have been able to insert those but um, hmm. so what is this uh, in putting book data so this is not this is actually nothing what am i even hang up on so it's nothing we basically grab those it says input new book i could just remove that as well and uh, let's run this program again now what if i input the same book hmm? what happens then i've not actually tested it on that so let me just grab the kite runner and then i'm going to say 371 uh call it name of the author the last name of the author is a little bit difficult let's save that let's come here so I'm gonna say select books so it is going to add it because we did not implement any logic for the books that is a, an improvement point that I actually encourage you to go ahead and implement that but if you come to the authors you can see it has only been added once because uh, it was supposed to be a new book uh, that's why we are ask, actually asking the user to insert a new book we don't care if the author is repetitive but the book has to be a new one you can actually uh, come up with an if statement that is going to show the user that this book is already within the database again I do encourage you to go ahead and implement this functionality it is going to resemble what we did in here this uh, this existing if it is existing if author is existing what we are going to do you are just going to add another if uh, if an else statement that is going to basically say if author uh, this within this try basically you're going to replicate this and you're going to say if author is not if book is existing then what but basically what we are asking the user is to please input a new book otherwise this system is going to uh is, is not going to work so i'm going to um go to go ahead and ask another book go ahead and add another book so what is the title of the book it is the shining this is a good book it's not one of my favorites this is just a good book it's Stephen King so let's come here it's actually very good representation so we have the shining book ID is uh, three and we can take a look at authors so we have the second author uh, with author ID of two and book authors there we go so Khalid Hosseini which has which uh, which has the author ID one has two books book ID one and book ID two I know they're the same but they're two different books and uh, the Stephen King is going to have one book author ID two is going to have three so we I could add another book as well so I'm just going to go ahead and add it 
And uh, this is another one of my favorites by Khalid Hosseini, of course. Very good writer. I recommend you check out his books. Really good. Really, really good. And this is going to be Hosseini. So uh, let's hit enter. And now let's just bring this up. So I'm going to say first show me the books, then show me the authors. Then show me the author book, book authors. So let's uh, go over this for the last time. So we have uh, authors. We, we have Khaled Hosseini. And then we have added uh, Khaled Hosseini again. Uh, why have we added Khaled Hosseini again? Because if it is an existing author, we should not add it. We didn't add it there. Have I misspelled anything? K H A L E D K H A L E D. It, it it should not have been added there. So book number three is by Khalid Hosseini. It should not have been added there because that is a that is going to be the existing author. So let me go over these uh, syntax one more time. So we are going to check over is our existing author. So if existing author session query uh, method, we are going to go to the author. We are going to filter. So if author that first name is equal to first name and if author dot last name is equal to last name, then we are going to grab the we are going to say first and then we are going to add the book. And if author is not exist is not none, we are going to say session dot flush book author author ID is going to be existing book dot existing author dot author ID. So we have already said that it is existing author author ID book book dot ID. And else we are going to say author is author first name is equal to first name. Last name is equal to last name. Session flush pairing is going to be author author dot author ID and book book dot book ID book dot book ID. So we basically say add pairing outside of this if statement within the try block. So if I go there, then we say roll back, print the pairing. So I'm just going to, I could say print pairing. We could print the pairing as well. And then finally, we are going to roll that back. Everything seems accurate. I don't know why it is, it has, oh, the reason that it added it, I remember now. When I entered that author, uh, in here, I do remember it now. So let me clear that. So if I go up, this is Khalid for the second time. So in front of it, when I paste that, you, I, I'm, I'm sure you saw it. You can rewind back. There was a space in front of it. So I can make sure that this author is not going to be added again. So it is going to ask, what is, what is the title of the book? I'm going to say some book just to make sure that this author is not being added again. How many pages? I'm going to say 101. What is the name of the author? So I'm going to say K-H-L-E-D. And uh, uh, Stephen King, K-H-L-E-D. And, okay, so E-D. This is going to be H-O-S-S, just capital H, H-O-S-S-E-I-N-I. -S -S -E just add it. And there we go. So this is the representation of it. Now it says book author 5, ID 5. And now let's take a look at in our database. So I'm going to say uh, books. So some book has been added. Cool. Then authors. There we go. You can see that Khalid Hussaini has, has not been added. Why? Because uh, in this, this is actually an error. And you need to check for this as well. You can trim any string like from the start, from the end. The reason that I'm actually telling you this at different points is that you can actually come up with like 100 different ways to improve this application. This is just an idea for you. Because there was a space, it treated it as a different, a completely different author, just because there was a space. But because now there is no space, you can see that this author is has become author number one. So you can see that. How can we make sure that this is accurate? What is the ID for some book? It is five. What is book ID? Five. But what is the author ID? It is one. I can prove it to you that this has a space in front of it as well. 
Now, you can see that the um, ID for this author is 3. So if I were to add these authors again, I'm just going to say uh, some book. Very good. <laughs> uh, how many pages? 202. What is the, I'm going to say Khalid, and I'm going to pass in a space. You saw the space. Hit space. And I'm going to say H-O-S-S-E-I-N-I. -S -S -E is that correct? H-O-S-S-E-I-N-I. -S -S -E Hosseini. Let's hit enter. Now, you're going to see that the book ID is going to be 6, but the author ID is going to stay 3. We already see that in here. The book ID is 3, but let's go ahead and let's uh, take a look at the author ID. Uh, I just want to prove something. So it's some good book, very good. You can see that the book ID is 6. But if I take a look at the authors, there we go. The author has not been added. But now the cool part, th part is that if I go inside the book authors uh, table, then what, we, what do we have there? We are going to see that the book ID 6 is going to have the author ID of 3. Let's hit enter. And there we go. So the book ID of 6 has the author ID of 3. This is what I meant by improving this application further. There is a lot of stuff that you can do here and you can, no one is going to tell you anything else. You can do that. And uh, I think the pairing that I removed, the comment that I removed from here, that actually belonged to this pairing that I forgot to write here. Anyway, uh, our database is working fine. Very good. We were able to understand what the relational model is, what SQL is, what the re relational model is, tongue twister. And uh, with this, our entire SQL course comes to an end. I hope you have enjoyed it. And now, looking at the time, 37 minutes, I'm sure you're not going to say that he basically, the teacher, the instructor basically rushed through the final lectures. No, he did not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's 37 minutes. I just wanted to take my time to explain this idea once more. So it is really concrete because we are going to apply it to real world. Like even realer than this that we have done so far. Like even more real world. So see you in the next chapter.